Hello and welcome to the July-August edition of Our Kitchens. I'm Leanne Cordisco, chef owner of Christine's Gourmet Toffee, and we're here today in my candy kitchen, but we're not here to make candy. We're here to make stuffed zucchini flowers, stuffed fried zucchini flowers. They're only available for two or three weeks when the zucchini flowers are out, before they turn into zucchinis. So get out to the farmer's market, get them now while you can, because all the chefs and the fun cooks are uh, out there getting them so make sure you try this recipe. Super easy and really, really tasty. We're gonna begin with a nice light salad to go with the zucchini flowers, and it's made with tomatoes. What I have in this bowl are two tomatoes that are already cut up, as well as the zest of half of a lemon so far. What I'm gonna do now is just finish zesting this lemon with a little microplane. And the lemon zest is where all the essential oils are in the lemon. It's going to give you a ton of lemon flavor. Give it a tap just to make sure you get all that tastiness off of the back side of this thing. And then I'm just going to cut it up. And we want the lemon juice as well. I'm going to use this little strainer so that I don't get any seeds in here. There's one of them. Clever little things, the strainers. And when you're done with it, trash it. Here's the second half. This lemon is going to give us the acid for our salad dressing. And that is done. And off that goes to the side. So the secret ingredient in this salad is the fennel pollen. Now fennel is a totally amazing plant. You can eat it um, in various forms. You can eat the bulb, uh, you can eat the stalk, the fronds. You can also eat the fennel pollen. I've got a little bit here. You can see, let me put some down here for you to see. It's just literally, like we said, the pollen of the fennel plant. You can't see it all that well on the marble. Sorry about that, but trust me, really tasty. So I'm just gonna take this of course, off of an impeccably clean table. I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of it. Here's what it looks like in your hands. And it's a shame you're not here, again, for the smell of vision because this is a, a wonderful, wonderful fennel kind of anise um, smell we're getting right now. And a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt. That's all we need. A couple of uh, grinds of freshly cracked black pepper. a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. The, the, the elegance of the salad is its simplicity, so make sure you're using a good quality extra virgin olive oil, uh, like the one I've got here. You can tell it's a good quality olive oil if it has a, a date that's been manufactured or perhaps an expiration date on it. Um, a good quality olive oil will typically last you about a year. So if you see something that says um, it was pressed on or it's good until, that's something that you want to use here. Stay away from the flavored ones. You really want the flavor of like the, the nice grassy olives in this. So I'm just going to put in a few tablespoons of olive oil, maybe about oh, a third of a cup, half a cup, as I think what's on the recipe online. And your salad is in essence done. I'm just going to mix this up and set it off to the side for about an hour. And what's going to happen is that the fennel pollen and the lemon and the tomato juices are just going to uh, exude uh, out and uh, make a lovely little dressing. And that is that. Now let's turn our attention to the stuffed zucchini flowers. And I'm going to stuff these with a spiked goat cheese mixture. So I've got some fresh goat cheese right here, and I'm going to mix a little Herb de Provence in it. You can use Herb de Provence, you can use uh, Montreal steak seasoning, you can use a little soy and wasabi, um, salt and pepper, whatever you want. Uh, just something to make the, the goat cheese kind of tasty. So this is a nice softened goat cheese, fresh goat cheese, I'm just mixing the herbs in it to get it evenly distributed. I'm gonna add a little more salt to this, or a little salt, haven't added any yet. And maybe a little bit of pepper as well. You're trying to get a nice, tasty little mouthful. We don't want too much cheese in this, but um, the, the small amount of cheese that we do have in this dish, we want it to be really flavorful. So that's the entire seasoning mix for the zucchini flowers. And here they are. Lovely, uh, big flowers, big buds, and inside of them, 
it's a nice wide open cavity. Now when you get your zucchini flowers, gently tear down one side and then look inside to see if there's any bugs or debris or anything that you want to have removed from there. If you see that little stem inside there, I think that might be the pistil, the stamen. Biology teachers, call, write, let me know if I'm getting it right or wrong. But uh, you can leave that there uh, totally fine. And uh, this is the, the, the area, the cavity that we're going to stuff. And let me show you how to stuff this. Take maybe half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of this cheese mix and put the spoon right down inside the flour and then take the flour, kind of close around it and then slide that off, slide the, the flour and the cheese off in your hand and then just kind of close it up like that. Don't worry about this. We're gonna take care of this with a little bit of egg wash. So these guys are halfway done. We need to bread them now. To bread them, we're gonna make a simple egg wash using one egg. In today's video, I'm only using one egg and a little bit of water. In the recipe online, there were two eggs and some water. That's because I was making, or the recipe makes a lot more than what I'm showing you how to make today. Uh, the important thing to understand here is you've got egg that's going to go onto the flour so that the uh, breadcrumbs will stick to it. The breadcrumbs we're going to be using are these lovely Japanese panko breadcrumbs. So we've got an egg. I'm gonna thin that down with a little bit of water, just like that, and beat it up a little bit. Just mix it up. That's all we wanna do. Nice consistent texture. And now let's coat these guys. So take the cheese filled flour and slop it around inside the egg mixture, and then slop it around inside the panko. Take some, put it across the top, pat it down. What we're looking for here is nice even coverage on both sides. So you can see on this flour, it's nicely covered on both sides. Um, the little cheesy part over here has a little egg wash on it as well as some breadcrumbs. So that's uh, hopefully not going to um, ooze out on us when we fry these things. Now it's time to take our zucchini flowers and fry them. And into the oil they go. You'll know that your oil is up to temperature uh, correctly if when you put the flour in, it immediately starts to boil. And that's why we're using a high walled pan so that the oil doesn't bubble over and uh, make a mess in your kitchen or put you into any kind of dangerous situation. Take a look at how quickly they're browning up. Let me add a second one in here. Again, as soon as that goes in, it starts to bubble up. And these will only take about a minute to cook, if that, 20, 30 seconds on the side. What we're looking to do is warm up the goat cheese um, and uh, fry up the panko a little bit, make it a little bit crispy. Panko is a Japanese breadcrumb. It's a little crispier, a little lighter than uh, a traditional style of breadcrumb that we've all used um, here in Wisconsin. And they're totally trendy, really crunchy, and they make a nice addition to this dish. Okay, our zucchini flowers are done and it's time to take them out and drain them. A nice golden color on that. That's what we want. The cheese is still inside. It's warmed up a bit. We're gonna salt these as they're just out of the oil. Just a little bit of salt. And now it's time to finish assembling our dish. And I'm gonna get him out of here so we don't hear that anymore. We're now ready to plate this uh, wonderful little appetizer we're making. And to do that, we're just gonna grab a handful of salad greens on this just a, a, a tad, just a touch of salt, maybe a little bit of pepper. Always a good idea to salt your salad greens. And then on top of that, let's put some of this wonderful tomato, fennel pollen, lemon 
olive oil mixture. So this has become our dressing. Lightly dress it. Um, this is going to go fantastic with the zucchini flowers because the acid in here, the tom uh, the uh, lemon juice in here is going to really contrast the, the creaminess of the cheese. So we've got a couple of gorgeous little tomatoes and let's take two of our crispy little zucchini flowers and just place those right on top. Stuffed zucchini flowers, spiked goat cheese, a nice tart tomato salad uh, over a bed of fresh greens. This is the Dane County Farmer's Market at its finest. Uh, I am delighted to bring this recipe to you for only two or three weeks. Get them all you can. I'm Leanne Cordisco for Our Kitchens. Uh, I'll see you next time.